input array has been taken n is the size of an array then positive integer k the task is to rotate the array clockwise by k positions the example is also be given the size of the array is 5 the elements has been given then each and every element has been rotated by k position 2 then see here what is the output 40 50 10 20 30 then how you got this output i will tell you then each and every element has been moved to the clockwise direction by k position the 10 will comes here then 20 will comes here then here 50 will comes here okay each and every element moves or rotate a clockwise by k position okay what is the output we will get this is the output in case of the k value would be 1 then each and every element rotate by k position the 10 will come here the 20 will come here the 30 will come here again the 40 will come here then what is the output we will get this is the output we will see in the program uh, comes to the main method the input array has been taken uh, this is the length of the array here initially i have been taken k value would be 1 the original array has been displayed over here then while i am calling the rotate method the array has been possible then n value is also be possible and k value is also possible then it comes to the rotate method then see here this is the array the n value is placed in the variable n the k value is placed in the variable k this is a condition has been used for when the k value is greater than the array size n then only it will work otherwise this statement doesn't require then comes to the next statement the array has been declared a array has been declared then this is the for loop i used over here then see here then i should be 1 0 then i less than k k value would be 1 i have been taken then a of 0 equal input of what is the n value 5 5 minus k value would be 1 n minus 5 minus 1 4 plus i value 0 then input of 4 input of 4 means index the value at index 4 will be move on to the a of 0 we will see here then what is the index of 0 0 1 2 3 4 50 will be placed in the a of 0 okay again the i value is being incremented by 1 i value becomes 1 1 less than 1 condition returns false the control will come to here okay this is the code has been used to place the remaining elements see here i will explain one example over here then i equal to 1 because k value will be 1 then 1 less than 5 condition returns to comes to the a of 1 because a of 0 is already filled over here then a of 1 equal input of index plus plus first index of index of 0 what is the index value here 0 after that the expression value is incremented by 1 this is the post fix, post fix increment the input of 0 what is the input of 0 10 10 has to be placed a of 1 after that i index value is incremented by 1 then after that i value is also incremented by 1 i value becomes 1 1 less than 5 condition sorry 2 less than 5 condition returns true then after that a of 2 a of 2 equal input of 1 input of 1 what is the input of 1 this one okay then it has to be placed a of 2 like that all the remaining elements has to be placed then finally the array will be returned to the main method here the array whenever the array has been written see here the return type is array then it is also static method because no object is required to call the rotate method that's why the method has been declared as a static then control will comes to here the whole array has to be placed in the result array then after that, after rotate by k positions, then the array has to be placed. I will go for execution. Here each and every element has been rotated by 1 because k value is taken 1. 
see here the 10 will comes here then 20 will comes here 30 will comes here 50 will places over this is the output when i taken the, now i will change the k value will be to k value now i change the k value will be 2 in the program k value k value has been taken as a 2 then i will go for execution again see now each and every bit has been rotated clockwise by two positions this is the output if you have any doubt regarding this problem please uh, contact me through comment box thank you thank you all for watching my video